cochlear implants, pacemakers, MRI scanners, laser surgery, and hip and knee replacements. These almost everyday innovations, once thought impossible, were made a reality by biomedical engineers. Biomedical engineering is one of the fastest growing branches of engineering, and it's easy to see why. Combining a wide range of engineering disciplines with the life sciences of medicine and human biology, biomedical engineers work with doctors and medical scientists to treat critically ill patients and improve quality of life for people with an injury or physical disability. I chose to study biomedical engineering because I wanted to apply the skills I love, like maths and science, to create a real difference to people's lives. Biomedical engineering is really great because it allows you to learn how biomedical technology works and also teaches you the skills to create that technology. The Biomedical Engineering Program at the University of Sydney is the largest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Here, your biomedical engineering training starts from day one as an undergraduate. You'll finish your degree ready for a job in just four years, rather than having to complete a fifth year as other universities require. The course combines mechanical, mechatronic, electronic, chemical and materials engineering. As a part of my summer internship, I got to work with Dr Justin Bobbin in developing and prototyping a 3D printed prosthetic hand. Working in industry has been a really valuable experience for me. I've been able to build a professional network and also have a clear understanding about my future career path. Biomedical engineering skills could be used all the way around the world. Um, Australia is leading the way in a lot of advances in biomedical engineering, but there are opportunities throughout the rest of the world. The US market is huge, the emerging market in, the, in Asia, in China, biomedical engineering is going to be needed to service those populations as well. I graduated from Sydney University two years ago and I never actually imagined that I would be in a position of leadership. I'm managing a team of 16 people and we're working on world-leading stuff. It's quite exciting. 